Hi, I'm Angel Latori and I am a fine artist. If you have been following along in my series of how to paint a landscape, I first showed you how to sketch, then I rendered the sketch into colors. I then applied our sketch onto the canvas to begin working on our background, then our foreground, giving the painting more perspective and depth. Then I picked up an area on our canvas to which I found the source of our light. This gave the painting more dimensions to which shadows could be created. With all of these techniques in place, I finally added floral details with beautiful, vibrant colors bringing our painting to life even more. Today we are going to finish by sharpening our details and signing our canvas. So let's get ready to paint. Hey everyone, uh, welcome back. I want to bring you back here again to what we were doing with our sketch and our rendering and our canvas. As you can see in our finished work here in our canvas, we are going to use now other colors. What we call warm colors such as orange, red, blue, sap green, titanium white and black okay so without further ado we are going to dip our brush into our dryer pick up some of this sap green put a little black into it darken it up and I'm just going over here to the arbo and give these little vines as though they wrap themselves around that arbo so that the arbor won't feel lonely back there. I'm also looking at the rendering which I did up there and as you can see on the rendering, the color rendering up there, uh, you can see the vines wrapping themselves around these uh, columns, these, these little detailed gadgets that are on the arbor. Okay, clean our brush. Again, I'm keeping focus on that rendering I have up there because I want to get as much color as I can onto this canvas as I possibly can. So I'm going to take some orange, pick the orange out, thin it out with the dryer, and go right here with this brush and just begin to dab on them. The orange is really strong so be careful with it don't get too uh, cocky with it because you don't want it to overpower the painting but it is a beautiful warm color it gives you that also summer feel and that autumn feel because in autumn this is basically the primary color but in the summertime, it's also the color of beautiful flowers. So it's not confusing. Let's go back. Now with the orange, you can always add white to it also to lighten it. So we can go in the background and the colors get lighter. Light has a tendency to play with your eyes making everything in the background seem lighter, misty, and smaller. Okay. I'm just going to clean this brush one more time. Put it aside. Pick up the other brush, the round brush. The Japan dryer. Get my blue. Some more white onto the blue, making it lighter. Just want to hit the the arch right here a little bit more with more flowers details see how light they're coming out just because the Sun uh, we have our imaginary Sun coming from the left side of the canvas okay clean our brush 
Now I'm going to use the black. I mean the white, forgive me, the white with the black, giving us a gray tone. Give me some of dryer. We're going to add the road. What I want to do with this road is very really quickly shade it in a little bit black because it's not going to be a dirt road. It's going to be more of a cobble stone road. I'm adding a little white back here so it can look lighter in the, in the foreground, in the, in the background and darker in the foreground. This is our recipe. Okay. Now I'm going to push this brush aside and this brush right here in particular I want you to notice this is a liner brush. It's a very thin brush. Um, it's a brush used basically to sign paintings and also to do very fine line art on the painting. And what I mean by that is this. And we're going to get into our painting and I'm going to show you. As you're getting in here, you begin to use it to draw some details of what looks like cobblestone. Thin out the paint. Okay, cobblestones usually are irregular shapes, so don't worry about being perfect with the cobblestones. Every cobblestone is unique like uh, people are. Okay, we're going to take the brush, clean it, use it again, and this time we're going to go into our white and we are going to use the same liner brush. And I think that this is the most important part of the painting because an artist has to uh, practice his signature over and over again. So that signature is always the same in every painting. So everybody will know it is your painting. So I'm going to put here my name, A. Latori. Let me get more thinner. Yeah. And maybe they learn you can put the date on too. So I right, thank you for uh, watching and come back again next week so we can start all over again with our sketching and we can develop a new painting. Thank you and God bless everyone.